Hey guys, uh, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we will learn how to configure the startup class in ASP.NET Core web application. This is a third step to convert console application to a web API application. So please see our previous two videos before watching this video. The startup class is a very important class for any type of ASP.NET Core web application. This class provides two important methods. First one is configure services. Second one is configure method. Let's add these two methods in startup class. So go to Visual Studio. Here open a startup class by clicking the class name here. So inside this startup class, let's add two methods. Public void configure services. Second method public configure. This uh, configure services method is used to configure all the services that you want to use in this application. This configure method is used to configure the HTTP request pipeline of the application. We can also say that it will configure all the middleware that we want to use in our application. This configure service method takes um, I service collection as the parameter. Variable name services. Let's add namespace. I service collection belongs to Microsoft dot extensions dot dependency injection. So whenever we inject any kind of service in this method, it means we are using uh, using dependency injection. This configure method will take two parameters. First one is I application builder. variable app second one is i web host environment variable env let's add namespace i application builder belongs to microsoft dot asp netcore dot builder i web host environment belongs to microsoft dot asp netcore dot hosting Here, high application builder provides the mechanisms to configure an application's HTTP request pipeline. I web host environment uh, provides information about the web hosting environment of uh, application is running in. In web application, we need to deal with environment. For example, development environment, production environment, etc. We can create n number of environment based on a uh, requirement of our application. I hope this video is helpful to you. See you there in next video.